Hello and welcome to this Drupal course. Drupal is one of the widely used content management systems and uh, sometimes in fact it's rather unfair to say that it's just a content management system. Once you start using it and you go into the depth and details of it, you will understand that it is more than a content management system. It provides a lot of functionality and flexibility. So here in the background, you can see the Drupal's website. Drupal is uh, a quite old content management systems which has been evolving and you can notice the current version is 10 over here and that is the one which we will be dealing during our uh, course so in this course we'll be discussing about what is drupal how to install it what are the requirements what it can provide what you can do with it and so many other things usually if you are new to drupal initially when you explore the functionalities that are provided by drupal you may get overwhelmed but uh, you don't you need not worry about it. We'll be looking at these functionalities step by step and over a period of time, you will realize that these functionalities provide you a lot of flexibility. And uh, then you'll be in a position to make a choice whether you want to use Drupal as a, con as a content management system for developing and building your website or not. Now, before we can proceed further in this course, in the beginning, uh, in the upcoming sessions, we will be discussing about a few basic things that what is a website, uh, what is a content management system, what are, uh, what is a static website design and so on. So once you understand these concepts specifically of how a basic website is designed with HTML, CSS, JavaScript, etc. and what are the issues with that, then you will be able to appreciate the use of a content management system. So we'll be seeing all these things in the further upcoming sessions. So stay tuned and see you in the next session.